www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org. The Oversoul First, to give you an overview, the Oversouls, are many. They group people into large families. From there, with all the knowledge that any one Oversoul gathers to itself, from the people who belong to any one Oversoul, it forms a Gestalt. It forms a sort of single collective mind, which is, the total of all the knowledge and experience garnered from the individual members. The individual people who are involved with this Oversoul, retain their individuality, but are very conscious of the other members of this Oversoul group. So, they have their individuality, but, are also immersed in the collective consciousness of their Oversoul. Then, eventually, the Oversoul decides to join with another, or more than one Oversoul, that has done the same, and together, they form a higher Oversoul. Once again, the individuals retain their sense of who they are, but, merge more and more, into this gigantic collective consciousness. These higher Oversouls, eventually form into another group, and, create even higher Oversouls. At this point, the individual people would be giving up their sense of individuality, and, would be merging almost totally into the collective consciousness. I will also say that, as the Oversouls merge together, they blend their experiences together, and the individual Oversouls begin to lose their sense of separateness, one from another. This goes on and on until, eventually, a monumental group of Oversouls form one collective Oversoul, containing all the knowledge of the millions of people that made this huge Oversoul, and it joins the Godhead. It disappears into this thing we call God, and we lose trace of it. At that point, I have no further knowledge of what happens. During this time, individuals retain their sense of who they are, and carry on doing whatever work it is that they have chosen to do, but cease to think as, I. They think as, us, if you see what I mean. You might call it the hive mentality, but it is in no way negative. Now, this is the overview. From the general to the particular. You and me. We belong to an oversoul. We might belong to the same oversoul, or, we might belong to different oversouls. Behind the scenes, the law of mutual attraction is at work. But, first let us consider any one oversoul. It has been hard at work for a long time, and, has created many people, some who incarnated here on earth, some who remained in heaven all the time, and, some who went to other planets and dimensions. But, they are all connected by the law of mutual attraction, to one another. Have you noticed, that you may meet someone with whom you have absolutely nothing in common? That person, belongs to another oversoul group to you. Have you noticed that, sometimes, you meet someone, and, in just a few minutes, you feel like you have known them all your life? That is someone, from your same oversoul. You feel straight away, that affinity. Many members of your family, would belong to your oversoul, but not necessarily all of them. You will feel close to some members, and, not close to others. I will stop here, and see what you make of it, or else, I will write a volume about the subject. Now, what do we do in heaven? We have free will. Many people just hang out in heaven, just enjoying themselves. Many, however, join groups like the White Brotherhood, and try to help people who are incarnate on earth, or, indeed, on other planets. Eventually, it is hoped, that all will increase their level of spirituality, and go higher, and higher. Thus, their oversoul will be more powerful, and can, itself, be a more spiritual oversoul. We, as individuals, have the free choice to remain in the Summerland, or, to progress to the higher spheres. Thank you for watching this video lesson. Please visit www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org for more lessons and free downloadable books.